Jesus will suffer and he will pray for the forgiveness of his enemies. Isaiah 53, verse 2. Can you imagine? You know, how much is the time, time difference between the book of Isaiah and the book of Matthew? There are more than 700 years. Can you imagine that? But still, alam na ni Prophet Isaiah, kahit yung ditangi ng pananangin ng natin Panginoon. The same thing in, sa Panginoon, sa Biblia, ay walang coincidence at walang accident. Amen! So here, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 12, sabi niya, I will give him the honors of a victorious soldier because he exposed himself to death. He was counted among the rebels. He bore the sins of many. And what? Wala nang inaibig. And interceded or prayed for his enemies. Okay. Okay. Sin of many and made intercession for the what? For the transgressors. He, Jesus, interceded in behalf of his enemies. No wonder why. He was so concerned about the forgiveness of his enemies. Number three, forgiveness is the purpose of his death. Ang kapatawaran ng kasananan ay pinaka-purpose ng kanyang kamatay. The forgiveness of your sins and my sins was the very purpose why Jesus died at the cross. Buon sa cross na ating Panginoon, doon natin natanggap ang kapatawaran ng ating mga kasalanan. In Luke chapter 5 verse 20, sinabi ni Jesus sa isang paralitiko, umalis ka na dahil ang lahat ng kasalanan mo ay napatawa na. Luke chapter 5 verse 20, verse 20, sinabi ni ating Panginoon sa isang paralitiko, Go, your sins are forgiven. In Luke chapter 7, 48 to 50, sinabi ni Jesus, doon sa isang babay ng prostitute, Go in peace, your sins have been forgiven. You and I is the recipient of God's forgiveness at the cross. Amen. No wonder why Jesus prayed and beg to God about the forgiveness of His enemies. How does it apply to us? Ikaw ba yung tao na mahirap ng patawad? Then you should put it like this. Kung mahirap ka ng patawad, dapat isipin namin na sa Panginoon, ay hindi mahirap ang patawa. Amen. In God, God has forgiven us all our sins. Tingnan niyo Colossians chapter 2 verse 13. Colossians chapter 2 verse 13. Ang sinabi niyo ang support niyo. At the cross, all our sins has been forgiven. Lahat ng kasangalan natin ay pinagtawag ng Diyos. Colossians chapter 2 verse 13. Okay. Sabi niya, when you were dead in your sins, you know that's a description dito, kung, kung wala ka kay Cristo, you are dead in your sins. And in the uncircumcision of your sinful nature, God made you alive. Everybody shout, alive. Alive. When Christ he forgave us all our sins. He forgave us all. Hindi niya sinabi, He forgave us our sins. What is sinabi niya? Everybody say, All our sins. All our sins. Lahat ng kasalanan. Hindi some of our sins. But all our sins. This is the beautiful thing. Then you see, when you talk about, how much asigurado na pagtikaw ng mga matay ko kung pagkasalamin? Sigurado, sigurado. Bakit? Because at the cross, God forgave all my 
ay sins. Amen. Pinatawad yung lahat ng ating mga kasalanan. At bukod sa langit, kahit ang lahat ng kasalanan ay hindi pwede, hindi ka pwede pumasok sa langit kahit may dalang ang lahat ng kasalanan. Ng. Because there is no wickedness and unrighteousness and sin in the place of God. Heaven is a perfect place. It is a sinless place. Kaya kung magkalahati ka sa nanan ka, hindi ka pwede pumasok sa langit. Kaya hindi, hindi tinatawag ni Jesus dito yung 50% ng kasalanan natin. Kasi alam niya, pag tinatawag tayo ng 50%, hindi pa rin tayo qualified to go to heaven. Hindi 90% ng kasalanan natin ang tinatawag ni Cristo. Kasi alam ng Diyos, pag 90%, may 10% pang naiwan, hindi ka pa rin pwede pumasok sa langit. Hindi niya tayo tinatawag ng 99% kasi alam niya, may 1% pa. Hindi ka pa rin qualified to go to heaven. Kaya sa akin ang Bible, He forgave us all our sins. Then, anong tawag sa akin? In Ephesians chapter 1, in Romans chapter 1, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, the Bible is addressing the people of God as saints and holy. Amen. Bakit sins and holy? Because all your sins have been forgiven. God is a forgiving God. Amen. He is a God of forgiveness. Yes, Father. They have insulted me. They, they harm me. They, they falsely accuse me. But please, Forgive them. Because I will be, I will die for them. I will die for the forgiveness of their sins. Amen. This is the Lord. So Jesus said, Father, forgive them. And then what's the next word? Because they don't know what they're doing. I check this in Greek. And, 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 and clear na sinabi dito ng Panginoon, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing because they don't know me. Patawarin mo sila sa kanilang ginagawa kasi hindi nila alam ang kanilang ginagawa kasi hindi nila ako kilala. Forgive them for they don't know what they are doing because they don't know me. Hindi nila ako kilala. Sakto sa itaming tao na hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa nila kilala kung sino si Kristo sa buhay. Ito yung ginawa nila. In Luke chapter 22, verse 64, binilingan nila yung mata ni Jesus pagkatapos silang pao or saktan. And then, tanongin nila si Jesus, sino pumano sa iyo? Kung tumok propyenta ka, sino ang isang pao sa iyo? Ito, in Luke chapter 22, verse 64, You really don't know who sin was in Jesus. Okay? Jesus said, okay, Luke chapter 22-64. Luke 22-64. Okay? They blindfolded him and demanded, Rock is signed. Who hit you? you? They hit Jesus and then, you know, they hit him. You see, they hit him. You see, they hit him. You see, they really don't know Jesus. Hindi talaga nila alam kung sino si Jesus. In Luke chapter 23.34 kanina, okay, pinatihati nila yung kanyang gabit. In Luke 23.36, yeah, binigyan nila, may insulto nila si Jesus, at binigyan nila ng ano, ng vinegar. Binigyan nila ng, ng, ng maasin na ano. May Luke 23.36. Yeah, they mock him. And they offered him a wine vinegar. They don't know Jesus. And where's the law? In Luke 23, 32. Luke 23, 32. Ito nangyari. Okay? If you want the king of the Jews, okay, the two other men, both criminals, were also led out in hand to the executed. Pinagitan siya, pinako siya sa gitna ng dalawang criminals. They don't know because they treated Jesus, the accused Jesus, as criminal. Father, forgive them. Because they don't know what they're doing. Or they don't know me. 
que vai ter alguém que vem então. Do you really know who is Jesus? Pela da nova galera, com sino de Jesus. At sino de Jesus. Sa buhay mo. Bakang ang tawag sa iyo yung kristyano kung hindi mo kilala kung sino si Kristo. Kung hindi mo kilala si Kristo, the tendency is palagi mo siyang masasakal. Kasi hindi mo alam ang puso niya. But if you know him, then palagi siyang magutuwa sa iyo. Amen. Amen. Kaya kahit na nga nung sabihin natin, Philippine is a Christian country that's only by way of liberation and not a reality. Kasi ang lahat Filipino ay hindi nila kilala kung sino si Cristo. Mas kilala nila yung Cristo kung sa buwan. Kaya ito kong Cristo na naman tayo para sa kanya, para sa kanilang kaligtasan, ay hindi nila sana sana kung kilala na natin kung sino si Jesus sa buhay natin who is Jesus sa iyo sino pa si Jesus sa akas ka answer the question si Kiko para sa maraming tao si Jesus in sa akin siya yung kapitan natin kapag may problema tayo at wala Okay. Hindi natin siya kailangan. For me, who's Jesus? Jesus is my Lord and His Savior. Amen. Si Jesus ay aking Panginoon at kami na napalitas. Ano yung isang din ang Panginoon? He is the King of my life. The life that I have right now is not about me. It's all about Him. Amen! Don't say anything, because it's still okay. Jesus to be the team of our life, and hindi qualification, hindi pastor ka, by the woman, dapat ganun ang pagkakilala ng lahat ng tao sa Kanya. Amen! Kaya na nang dapat gawin natin, we have to receive Him, accept Him as Lord and Savior in our life. Amen! Panginoon at kalupagligtas sa sa buhay natin. Last. Today you will be with me in paradise. Sabihin mo ka? Hindi sa parol. Today you will be with me in paradise. Luke chapter 23, 42 to 42. Today you will be with me in paradise. Ito yung kasagutan ng ating Panginoon doon sa sinabi ng isang criminal. Doon sa kanyang isang criminal. Okay. Okay. Luke chapter 23, verse 32. The thief, the criminal said to Jesus, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Panginoon, huwag mo kong malimutan pagdating mo doon sa iyong bahay. Ano yung sabihin nito? Panginoon, I am right now accepting you as Lord and King in my life. Isa sa pinaka-unique na conversion sa Bible ay ang conversion ng tao nito. Hapos lang ng tao ay sinasagtan ng ating Panginoon doon sa cross. 